I ordered some um, paints. It's exciting. <laughs> New paints, some schminky. Schminky, I'll never know how to say it. Um, Hordum at Creel paints the best of super granulation colours. Um, I got, I'm not sponsored for this at all, but um, I got. Um, there was a special offer on and I had points on my Jackson's card and also I got these three which seem they seem quite nice they said they're for watercolor and I think they're a bit small for me but um, I just rinse it in my dirty water <laughs> they're a bit small for me but um, they do for detail things so I thought I might um, try out my new paints just to see how grand new they are and it can look. Um, it comes with this thing so you can write the number. I'm, nev I'm never very organised and I never do it. <laughs> never do this um, proper light, if you know what I mean. Um, I've got a bit of watercolour paper here as well because this doesn't seem, sorry, my chair's making lots of noises, isn't it? And I also got some of my favourite, um, what do you call them? Favourite, uh, uh, um, <laughs> favorite, favorite, favorite Daniel Smiths as well that I'd run out of. Um, and thank you to my patrons. I wouldn't have been able to afford to buy these without you. I've got Cascade Green, Phalo Turquoise, and Amethyst Genuine. Look, look, Amethyst Genuine. That's how low I was on it. And my Cascade Green, there was like virtually nothing left. And my phalo turquoise and it's just like scooping about the thing and it also came with an undersea green i think i bought they these three were on special offer because they were um i've forgotten her name now jean jean hayes that's it <laughs> um colors that she likes so um yeah so i've got those i know what they look like because i use them except for the undersea green i haven't used that before so that's a new one for me so i'm just going to go through these each one so I've got Vulcan red here it's exciting isn't it I'm, I'm not going to squirt them into my um uh <laughs> what's, it, what's it called palette yet because um I just want to see them you know when something's new you want everything to keep nice and let's try it on the water that's a nice color Sort of it reminds me of um God, I can't think of the colours. <laughs> I've got it here. Pro Proline red, which is this one I like, but it's not as intense, it's very um quite pale. So I don't know, but it's granuly. You can see it granuling granuling already. So that's the first one. Um this one is called Galaxy Pink. It's exciting. I stained my brush now. So much for keeping my brush nice and white. So if the, you can hear the traffic, I've moved back down to my studio and um, it's trafficy time. It's the Queen's Queen's, the King's Coronation Day, and people are starting to move about now. It's all over. This is nice. These are quite um, muddy looking colours actually. When the granulation colours have to be muddy, maybe they put that lunar black colour in. It's a bit like that amethyst colour. Tundra pink. Let's try this one. Let's put a little blob on the end of the brush. That's like a purple colour. This is a bit like the amethyst. Actually, let me put a bit more on and then I'll try it next to the proper amethyst by Daniel Smith one. They seem a bit like um quite goopy, like there's lots of um what's the word um gum arabic in them a binder in them for some reason. That's what they feel like to me. Let me put a proper bit. This is amethyst genuine by Daniel Smith. I was just gonna test it next to um this because it's a similar colour. No, the Daniel Smith ones are, are so nice. I'm just going to put that because it's splodged out. There's clearer and brighter the Daniel Smith colours. These are quite seem to be quite muddy looking. And then I've got Tundra Violet. I'm not sure whether it's just because I've got the tops. Maybe they haven't 
mixed up. So that's a really slight slate blue colour. Squish that out a bit. It's quite a nice colour. I'd like to do some um, roses with that so it's all the same colour. Was that tundra violet, tundra blue? Let's try this one. I'm not sure whether I, if just using the tops of the paint, whether they've separated a bit in the tubes. So I'm getting it. The blue is nice, it's clear, a bit clearer. They are quite dull colours. They don't seem to be that granulate to me. Maybe they granuling a bit. Um, glacier green sounds exciting. I'm just putting it. So they're all they're all quite dull colours. <laughs> that reminds me of Sleeping Beauty a bit. Going to have dull colours, dull colour. Um, what do you call it? Paintings. Um, this one is deep sea green. That's nice. That's a bit more vibrant. I do like vibrant colours. I'm, I'm a, <laughs> a vibrant colour person. That, that, that colour and that together. That would be nice. Terrific granules. I'm thinking autumn. <laughs> it's just coming into summer. They're nice. You can see them quite granuly. That's nice the way it's granuling and the colours are changing a bit, which is nice. Shire blue. more of a green. It's quite nice. This little brush. <laughs> you don't see me painting with a little brush like this, is it for to do details? Stick a bit more of that in. Another colour. Mixing it with the other colours a bit. My chair is really squeaky. Was that, that was Shire Blue and now this one's oh Shire Green. You see what I mean by um, it's quite, it looks like there's a lot of binder in it. It's not like, I don't know, it's like thinned, doesn't look like it's like pure colour. And again, it might just be because I've got, they've separated in the tubes, I don't know, a bit. Needs a good mix up, probably. Um, this one is um, desert yellow. I bought um, some of the I can never say it co or well, colours um, in the pans <laughs> that were granular colours, and they were they were very similar to this actually. Kurataki, that's it. <laughs> the gran the granite colours. I've forgotten what they were called now. I've got them. The graphite colours. There were six colours. And they were really nice. Okay, let's see this one. This one is volcano brown. They're very earthy colours, these. That's quite nice. I like that one. And how granular it does go. Like this happening there, like a lot of texture, and and um, desert green, which is itching to come out the tube. That one, it's not very good. Well, it's really sagey green. Just, you know, that would make nice squish it there. That would make nice um, shadow green colour. You can see it's like splitting colour bit on there. Can you see down there? Not really. <laughs> yeah the colours have separated a bit there which is really nice and on this one. So they're the colours. Um, I won't really know what they're like 100% so I start painting with them and like experimenting a bit more but they're the colours that are in the tubes and um, yeah I quite like them. They're very 
dull colour colours though, so except for the green, which one's that? That's the Shire green. Um, but um, yeah, they're very earthy, and the, you can see the colours there. That's separating. So it's got like a browny colour to it. Some of them. That one's quite um, granularly, more so than the others. I have to wait for them to dry. You have to sort of leave these to dry naturally, and, and then they do their thing. Like most paint, if you leave to dry naturally and let it do its thing, rather than using a hair dryer, it's going to um, do different things. Um, I love all this granulation here. These, oh, that's really lovely here. That was using that um, desert green. The last colour and it's mixing in with Oh lovely. I'm gonna have fun painting with these. Anyway, that was just a quick thing. I'm not sponsored at all by this. I, I bought them myself. And the brushes, the brushes are quite nice, but I'd like a, a bigger bigger brush. Something like this. <laughs> Something like this, um, but round. Um, I'm not gonna put those back on because it messes up the bristles. So I'm gonna unpackage them and then have a have a paint. Anyway, thank you for joining me. Hope you enjoyed this. And these paints again are the Hordum Schminky Hordum Acre Eel, and it was the the best of super granulation colours, which were really nice. Which they are nice. Yeah, they they do granulate a bit like that. That's not one. <laughs> anyway, thank you. Bye.